XML is a very popular data transfer format. It provides a format which is easy to read and modify. In this video, we will create a simple Maven project to see how we can consume XML data from a file and write XML data to a file. We will use the simple object mapper from Jackson Data Bind. So let's get started. Here is the XML document which we want to read in our project. It represents a person and has attributes like first name, last name and age. There is a nested XML structure within each for the address containing street, city and zip. And just to also demonstrate how to handle array data, I have the cars array here which has an array of cars. My aim is to provide the solution for an XML document which has many possible variations of XML data. I have my Spring Tool Suite open. Let's create a new Maven project. It can be a Spring Boot project or a simple Java project as long as you have the relevant jars. Let's choose the default and click next. Click next. Give a group of my group, artifact ID of my project and click finish. Now under the source main Java, let us right click and choose new and choose package, call it model, click finish. So the first step is to create a simple Java object or POJO to represent the XML file structure. Let's right click and choose new class, call it person and click finish. Let's create the attributes first name, last name and age. Then we have the address object. Don't worry, we will create it soon. Next, we have a string array of cars. So this object represents the XML file. Let's right click and choose source and then generate getters and setters. Select all and then generate. Now let us hover on address and choose create class address. Click finish. Let us put the attributes of the address, the street, city and zip. Right click, choose source and then generate constructor using fields and select generate. Let's create a no args constructor also. Let's right click and choose source and then generate getters and setters. Select all and then generate. Okay, now let us go to our POM file and include the dependency for getting Jackson data format XML. Jackson is a popular library for handling JSON in Java applications. The Jackson library is composed of components like Jackson data bind, core, and annotation. Jackson data bind has internal dependencies on Jackson core and annotation. Adding Jackson data format XML will pull all these dependencies. All right, let's now go to our app.java class. Let's create a try catch block first. Jackson is typically used by means of an object mapper instance, which is a serialization mapper. Let's get started by creating an object mapper and create it as an instance of XML mapper. Next, let's create an input stream to get our file data as file input stream, which will read our file we saw earlier. Next, let's indicate the structure of our XML data using type reference, which indicates that it is a list of person objects. Let's fix the imports. Next, let's read the XML file and obtain the list of person objects by using mapper.readValue method which takes in the input stream to read and then type reference to interpret it. So at this point, we have read the XML file and obtained the data. Pretty easy, right? Let's just show that we read the data correctly by creating a for loop reading the person's list and then outputting the first name, city from the nested JSON address structure, get the first car name by reading the array structure. All right, let's right click and choose run as Java application. And we see the output below, which demonstrates that we were able to read the JSON structure properly. Now, instead of being present as child nodes, some elements may be present as attributes. So here, let us say age is an attribute. The Jackson library handles this for us. Let's go back and run the same code and it can still find the value and print it for us. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's see how easy Jackson makes it to write XML to a document. Let's first create a person object, set its first name, last name, age, set its address, and set the cars array. Writing it to JSON is as easy as using mapper 
dot write value, specify the file where you want to write it to, person on dot XML, and the object you want to write, which in our case is person. Before we forget, let's close the input stream. Let's run this application. Go back to our folder, and here is the file. And here we see the XML data. In this video, we saw how we can use the Jackson libraries to easily read XML data and write it to files using an object mapper. Thanks for watching.